Okay, everybody, uh, this is Michael Johnson, photojournalist, KWTV News 9, Oklahoma City. I'm uh, going to do a quick little review, demonstration, and training of the new Sennheiser AVX wireless uh, system that comes with. This is the receiver that mounts right into the XLR input. Um, pretty nice little build, metal construction. Uh, looks, looks pretty good. Uh, we have the belt pack LAV transmitter. Uh, you can tell it doesn't have the flimsy antenna like the old ones. Um, pretty much there's nothing to these really. You have a power, a pair, and you can have you have mute right here. But really um, there's not a whole lot else to these. These do not take AA batteries like the previous units. They have a battery pack that just pops off. Um, takes about two, hour, two to four hours to fully charge. You can get about 18 hours continuous use um, with these wireless units when they are fully charged. Also, so here it comes with uh, the omnidirectional LAV. Um, I've tested this out already, and I'm gonna show you how it works, but it does, doesn't sound too bad. It also comes, this, this particular <clears throat> uh, set that we ordered comes with the, the microphone with the built-in wireless, and you can see down here there's a, there's a power and a pair, and this actually has a battery pack that pops out. Here's the battery. Okay, and so on the bottom here, you can see it has a micro, if you can see that really well, it has a micro USB um, charging port. Uh, this, this takes four hours to charge, for, without a doubt, um, but you get a long run time on this, so um, that's it. It just pops right in there, clips. So now I've tested this out for a little bit and used this. Uh, the sound's not bad. Uh, w more than anything, I think this, this is really like an automated system. There's no tuning of frequencies. It has, you can see here, it has like a pair button. This works a lot like Bluetooth. You pair the receiver and one of the transmitting units together and you're going to have pretty much uh, clean audio. You don't have to try to tune it. However, you know, you're a little bit limited on as far as adjustments, uh, here you have your your AF out, and I'll show you this in a minute. Um, you can change the um, the level RF out, but unlike other uh, Sennheiser, the G100s, where you could adjust the dB gain and and kind of work between your transmitter and your receiver, you could come if you're in a noisy situation, you could adjust it to where uh, you're just kind of picking up a pattern right in front of your face, or you could have it to where you need to pick up a room you could adjust that DB you don't really have the adjustment options with this um, just the AF out and that's it so for professionals um, who are used to having really clean audio and getting and, and being able to adjust things the way they want it um, you're probably not going to like these what these tend to be good for in my opinion is these are good for news MMJs um, where you can just turn them on and go however um, I did find out one little flaw with this uh, that's going to be a little bit of a nuisance, but uh, I'll show you that in a minute. And basically what it is, you will pair a transmitter and a receiver, and when they're paired, uh, they work fine. You can turn both off, and then when you turn them back on, they automatically pair. The problem is when you buy a set and you have two transmitters, you have the stick and a lav, or you had two lavs, if you go from one to the other, you have to repair. So um, what I was hoping for was I could pair these two and then pair this and then every time I turn turn them on and off it would just automatically sync. That's not the case. If I've been using the stick mic and over and over and over but then I need to use the lav, well then I gotta pair them and I'll show you how to do that. But first of all this, I, I really like this thing, this receiver. Um, again it has um, has a little port here, micro USB, so you can charge it. Um, no, doesn't take any batteries. Um, this little thing, this little battery pops off, so you can buy extra batteries if you want. Um, so basically, the way this works is you mount it into your XLR. This is my Sony NX5, and I'm going to show you. You just basically pop it in there, and there's your receiver. And you can see I've got another Sennheiser that I've been using that's mounted here. Um, but the great thing is with this, this is it, this is your receiver. No more running wires and trying to mount one of these receivers and then worrying about AA batteries, none of that. 
it's all right here, which is great. So how's this work? Let's start off, we're gonna start off by using this with the stick mic. I'm gonna show you how this works. First thing you do, the red button here, you turn it on, you're gonna get a red indicator right here. Red means that you're, it's powered on, but it is not paired with anything. If you pop the red button again, you see the LEDs, this gives you your battery strength. So right now it's fully charged. So we'll, and that'll go off on itself. The AF out, when you click that, that's going to give you an indicator with the red bars. Four is the highest out, and then you can just go down. What I've found is two is about where um, I, I, I think I need to leave it at. And then just use the audio controls. Make sure your camera's um, audio um, knobs are set to manual, and then you can manually adjust. But the, And it works really well when it's about on two. Now, the, the LAV is a lot more sensitive and puts out a higher output than the stick mic. So you'll really have to work the controls when you go between these two. Okay, so we have the receiver, it's on. Now we have the stick mic here. And if you look down here, the way you turn this on is this little power button. You push it with your little finger, you gotta put your fingernail in there and push up until, you get the, until it turns red. Now we have red, red and red, which means they're not paired. So to pair this, we hold the pair button on the receiver hold it down and it will start flashing. Do the same thing on the stick mic, hold down the pair button and it will start flashing. At that point you wait, when both, li uh, both lights are green, it is paired, it's ready to use. I can use this mic, start talking into it and I have a receiver is picking it up. And that's about it and then you can just use the, like I said, you can use adjust the uh, AF out and then also adjust the audio on the control knob on your camera and there you go and like I said now if I turn off the stick and I turn off you have to hold down to turn them off now they're both off if I turn them back on I am going to turn on the receiver and I'm going to turn on the stick now watch they automatically repair because that was the last thing was paired to it. Okay, so pretty easy if you're using the same microphone over and over and over. But if you switch to the LAV, well then you have to, of course, turn off your stick mic. You'll see this goes back to red. Here, the two switches here, the power button and a pair button. That's pretty much, there's three switches on this. Power, pair, and you can mute. And that's pretty much it. That's all it's on here. So I'm going to hold down this power button. You'll see it came on. It says no link. Okay. Now, again, I'm going to hold down the pair button on the receiver until it flashes. Then I'm going to hold down the pair button on the transmitter. It's blinking. And then watch. Now they're linked. And you can see here, it says AVX 1387. So there you go. So now they're paired up. You plug in, you know, your lav mic. You're ready to go. And again, um, the audio is going to come through hotter from the lav than it is from the stick. So you just have to adjust it you know, using the control knobs on your camera. You can play with that. Um, the biggest kind of pain is the fact that you have to repair anytime you switch between, um, you know, with, with this one, the old style. I've got a cube on a, on a shotgun mic and I also have a lav pack and you just turn one off, turn the other on and you're constantly linked. Um, so it would kind of be nice if with this new set um, there was able a way to like lock in um, these two where every time you turn it on they just automatically synced up. Uh, obviously you would have to only use one at a time because it's not a dual channel receiver. So that is pretty much it. Um, Right now, I'm going to go ahead and turn these off. Turn that off. I'm going to turn this off. Okay, so right now, uh, I'm not going to show you a picture, but I did a little bit of a mic check with, with these units uh, into my Sony NX5. So um, here's what it sounds like. Okay, so this is a mic check with the uh, 
wireless law of belt pack. I'm about eight feet away from the camera right now, about where you would be to do a live shot, stand up, um, maybe even possibly an interview. Back up a little bit further right now, I'm about here, I'm about 15 to 20 feet away from the camera. Um, see how the audio sounds right here. This is the lav and it's paired up and just wearing it right here. So this is what it sounds like. Um, so you can be the judge if you like it. Right now, the uh, receiver is set at AF out at level one. So it's all the way down. Uh, and then I've got the levels adjusted on the camera as well. So if you go with the AF out on the receiver any higher than one, um, you can go to two possibly, but you go to any higher than that, it's probably gonna blow out the audio. So again, this is the wireless lav transmitter um, with the receiver. Okay, and this is the mic check using the uh, the stick mic that was included with the kit, mic check one, two, three. As you can hear, it sounds pretty good when it's um, right up next to your mouth doing, uh, talking into it. As you get further away, uh, you can hear that, um, you can hear a little bit of your hand noise. If, you, if you're if you sliding your hand, slide your hand over the microphone, you do get some of that noise. Here's what it is further away. The reason I'm doing this is because um, obviously when you are doing a interview with somebody a lot of times you can't get the microphone right up next to their face so a reporter will hold the microphone out and it could be far away so I want to show you right now what it sounds like as you get further away from the mouse so this 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 microphone probably not the best for uh, for interviews where you, you know you can't get right up next to somebody but obviously when you get the microphone next to the mouth it does sound pretty good so uh, this is the uh, stick mic, the um, the AVX stick mic that comes with the Sennheiser kit. And that's it. That's my review of the new Sennheiser AVX uh, digital wireless units. Um, these do not have a great range. Uh, you do start to get some interference once you um, get beyond about 200 to 300 feet. So they're not like electrosonics. You can't, you know, do it. You can't have your reporter standing thousand feet away so like I said best used for news MMJs um, weddings as long as you're not too far away uh, any kind of corporate stuff just uh, where you're in a close proximity uh, it is all digital and it's going you're going to get a clean audio as long as you're within range um, and the great thing too about this little receiver you see how it's popped out but it rotates and it will rotate 360 degrees. So if this microphone wasn't on here, you could pop it straight up, you could pop it back. Um, if you wanted to use two of these, you know, I have two XLR inputs with these cameras, you could have one pointed this way, the other one pointed this way, uh, or both pointed up. If you have the ENG shoulder mount cameras, um, you can mount them on the bottom one and going each way uh, underneath the your battery. So um, Great little unit. Uh, this was the first set or second set I guess we've gotten in. I just tested them and uh, I, these are what we're going to use for um, our MMJs. So um, hope you've enjoyed this review and if you have any questions feel free to contact me.